More than ever, Minnesotans have looked for ways to get out of their homes and find a place to escape. Rentals at state and county parks are in high demand, from camper cabins to yurts. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily went in search of hot rentals close to the Twin Cities. And while finding out when they'll be available for you, she discovered the allure of adventuring close to home. Dakota County introduced two sleek camper cabins at Whitetail Woods Regional Park nearing the end of 2020. Feels like you're far away, but you're not. Ann Shadrick was one of the first to rent after its debut, a mere seven miles from her home. Well, the fact that the hiking and skiing is right from your backyard, and these are beautiful. All the other camper cabins, these are like a few steps up. Joel Thingval and his wife visited in early December. We came out just for some peace and quiet, and she wanted to sketch. She's an artist and was doing watercolors. They snagged a highly sought after reservation. They're regulars at park systems. We like to go out and just stay in cabins, and especially now when we have grand boys who are, you know, five and seven. This time the boys joined just for the day, possible because the destination is close to home. The master plan for the six year old Whitetail Park started with three original tree houses and they've maintained their popularity. One of the coolest features of the Pine Forest cabin is when you step outside, you're nestled among the trees. Park operations supervisor Katie Potta says the close proximity to the Twin Cities is a draw along with how cush the cabins are. Wi-Fi, there's heat, there's a nearby bathhouse with hot water so you can take a hot shower in the mornings. And she points out they're architecturally and situationally unique. That was important, that they, they, these would be destination type of amenities yeah. that would just be a few steps above maybe what you'd expect. If you're looking for something a little more rustic, look no further than Afton State Park. The park has two yurts to rent. Here we are at the yurt. Let's take a look inside. Wow, this is so cool. It's a little bit of a fun adventure. It definitely gets you off the grid. So these are completely rustic. There's no electric running here. You're gonna heat yourself with the wood. With three sets of bunk beds, the yurt sleeps seven. Assistant Park Manager Allie Croft says they also have four camper cabins with electricity, but people are especially drawn to the unique experience the circular tent offers. They definitely have gained popularity and it's been maintaining throughout the pandemic again, giving users and maybe people from the metro area or beyond a nice excuse to disconnect, unplug and get out to a state park with family or friends. All right, let's see what visitors have to say. Tell us about your stay. This one says we hiked and foraged and relaxed and laughed and celebrated a new beginning. Your rentals are available at Afton, Cuyuna County State Recreation Area and Glenda Low State Park. Patience and planning is key when booking a close to the city's getaway, especially this year. The camper cabins and yurts book four months out. So the next available slot comes just before summer in early June. Yeah, they're very popular. It's uh, quite difficult to book a night which is a good problem to have. Jennifer Merrily, WCCO 4 News. Pricing per night is under $100. If you are interested in learning more or booking a date, just head to WCCO.com links.